Hey guys, so this is a, a water pump I picked up from a guy a couple years ago. About four or five years ago now to think about it. Anyway, it's got a 1977 Briggs Model 8, so it's a three horsepower. It's got the pull out choke. Good running engine, don't smoke or nothing. Uh, got one problem, I'll talk about here in a second. And see, this is the water pump on it. It did pretty good. I used it to pump the pool down when the and it had a lot of rain just to get the excess water out of it because it was running into the it was overflowing against the garage wall here and flowing inside so <laughs> I had to get that water level down and this has been painted you see it wasn't green so it's was probably a Coleman brand one I would guess more than likely so I just ran it I ran it to, it had to use it like twice for this but the first time I used it it was a little cool outside so obviously that was helping Keep this problem from happening i ran it for a good three or four hours solid non-stop just kept putting gas in it on a warmer day i had to pump it down it run for about 20 30 minutes and shut off finally get it started again after about probably 20 pulls and then it run for just a little bit and i initially thought it was like a getting a the tank was giving building up suction and so i took the cap off and ran it, and it still did the same thing then I noticed it and didn't pay attention to it at first, but when I went to, to try to choke it to get it started again, this was hot as the muffler. Like the whole carburetor was like super hot. So in other words, it was vapor locking. But these engines aren't really known for like vapor locking. and I've never had one of the carburetor get hot like this. I knew something had to be wrong. So I got looking. There's a hole in the muffler. You can see it right there in the center of the screen. And it was pointing, putting exhaust right on the carburetor. You can see everything carboned up here. So it, the uh, making the diaphragm, you know, pretty much just shut off. And it's probably uh, melt, partially melted. So we got to put a new diaphragm in it and a new muffler. Hopefully this comes out. I've been putting PB blaster on it. So we'll just have to try and see what happens. So let's mess with it a little bit and see what happens. Also wanted to note that we're not going to do a complete carburetor rebuild. Uh, for two reasons. First of all, just to keep things simple. And second of all, we really don't need it. We are going to change the diaphragm here because it was running perfect and the adjustment was working good and there was no leaks that I could see. So we just need a new muffler, a new diaphragm, and hopefully be good to go. We'll probably go ahead and put a new spark plug in it too. So when you deal with a muffler like this, you got three possible outcomes. Either take this lock nut loose and just a little bit of work and it comes right out. No problem, put a new one in it. Or it's going to give you a little bit of trouble and you got to keep messing with it, maybe put a little heat on it. Or third, it breaks off, then you got to resort to like a hammer, or chisel, and all that trying to get it up. Now this was a 5 horsepower and you had a problem with it like breaking off or something, you could put the type of bolts on, but this don't have that. It's just strictly threaded it in. So let's hope for the best. And it's not a good sign all, right off the bat that the uh, nut's that tight. So let me work with it off camera and we'll see what happens. This is a good time to break out my punch and chisel holder. It's a Craftsman. I don't even know if they still make it or not. There's the number one in case you're trying to find it. That way you can hold it like this. You can really hit it and not hit your hand like you just seen me do. I kept pounding on it and finally got it to start turning. It's still very tight, but you can see how bad this is. There ain't no saving this. That's obviously what the problem was. Putting that uh, <laughs> exhaust right on there. I'm going to continue to work with it and hopefully nothing breaks or nothing. Got lucky, guys. That don't happen all the time. Look at the back side of it. How bad that is. And obviously this is from uh, water getting on it from the water pump, hoses busting, leaking and stuff. So I'll kind of keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> the worst I've ever had one and very surprised it came out that easy. So now let's get another one. I always keep some of these on hand. And uh, almost honestly might try to look and see if I can 
bring it out just a little bit to get that away from there in case it ever happens again it'd be less apt to cause a, a similar problem like this so you got a few different options on these this is a premium muffler which is so you got a couple of different options on this on the way they were made the same replacement part even the same part number this is the cheaper version here you can see it's got this ring around it and these kind of have like a smacky sound to it if you know what i mean and this has a little more mellow sound a little bit deeper sound probably slightly quieter too since it's actually a little bit bigger these are harder to find at least now they didn't used to be unless i can find another one we're going to just go with this for right now because i was really wanting to use this for a different project just because i like the way it looks better and it sounds better so for right now we're just going to replace it with this and it'll be just fine if i don't like the way it sounds and we'll try to come up with something else this thing ain't used all the time if it was i'll probably go with this or something even uh, quieter may eventually i was thinking about putting a street elbow on here coming out and putting them over like this but i had to take the carburetor off and everything to do that and we're trying not to do that so we'll just go with that but first i gotta rebuild the diaphragm part of the carburetor so i just took the plate off that you see on the side you can see all that carbon on there the diaphragm yeah it's still usable honestly it's not too bad but you can tell it's been hot and it's kind of crispy around the edges so we'll just go ahead and change it out just to be on the safe side while we got it apart all right got the new diaphragm in there and a new muffler and lock nut the threads are kind of messed up inside the block like you can't really see nothing but they would didn't want to go all the way in but it'll be fine just lock that down real good and hopefully it'll stay in there <laughs> now i gotta change the spark plug i'm gonna take the flywheel cover off off camera just to check everything make sure there's no dirt or anything in there this is an air vane governor. They act like it just wasn't quite keeping up with the load, so I just want to make sure there's not something blocking it or something broke or anything like that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start it up. It's got plenty of oil on it. Don't be surprised if some water comes out of here. Hope it don't get on you guys or me. Yeah, so time will tell when that's just smoke burn off from where I was working on the oil but the engine itself's not smoking um, I'm going to put my tack on it and adjust the spring and get it right at 3600 it seems like it's running just a little bit high let's see what I got to do uh, I am going to put a video in right now of this thing pumping some water but it's a real old video uh, it's got the old muffler obviously in it but uh it's it's not bad i mean i got an electric um, well pump that i used the last time and it worked actually uh better than this but uh i'm pretty sure i had an air leak on the fitting over there and it's getting air in it or something Alright guys, so I thought that might make an interesting little video, so if you got any questions or comments or suggestions for similar videos, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, no guarantees I'll get back on the comments, I just honestly don't have the time. I try to keep up with the first 10 or 20 that come in and that's, a, that's about it, so I hope you understand that. So again, thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one.